David here, coming at you with another LEGO Star Wars review on the Battle of Endor. Its number is 8038, its number for children is 9 to 14, and it has 890 pieces. And of course, it is a 10th anniversary 2009 edition. Uh, that's exclusive. Okay, so um, this may take a little long, but we're going to start with the minifigures. Okay, so first of all, we get these um, Ewoks. They're very detailed. There's detail always. Always a lot of detail in them. See, there's like a marking on him. Yeah, uh, he's also the chief. His name is uh, Chief Chapar, something like that. And he comes with the little chief sword. So next we have pa Paplu, something like that. Um, he's very detailed. That's a leaf, and he's got the scar. I mean, the detail on these new Ewoks is really quite good. And then um, right here we have Wicket. He's cool. Very cool. Very cool guy. So, those are the Ewok guys. Put that back over there. Next, we have a Death Star Trooper. Comes with a pistol gun. Um, we get two of these uh, biker scouts, and they're sweet. I mean, they're sweet. Haven't seen these in 10 years. 10 years, people. And it's great to have these. So these are sweet as crap. And you get two of them. Even more cooler. Next we have Han Solo. Um, basic outfit. Um, flesh colored skin. Good detailing on the body. Legs. One sided torso. Next we have Leia. Uh, it, it's Endor Leia. Uh, comes with uh, braided hair. And there's a little hole on top. So if you guys have that Chan Billy set or whatever it's called, um, that comes with her, um, that crown she gets, I lost it, but you can put that crown in this hair, so. Mm. Um, nothing special about the face, just like a girl kind of face. And another pistol. Same for Han Solo. Next we have, um, one of the, two of the, oops, <laughs> One of the two uh, Rebel Command, Re Rebel Endor com com Commandos, and they have the best gear on the bodies. I mean, this looks tough, mean, and ready for action. And this is a double-sided torso, so I mean, they did such a great job on these guys. I, it's just outstanding how good they did on these jobs. The helmet is outstanding. I mean, amazing. And you get a rifle with it. And sort of a grin kind of face. Flesh colored. Um, mustache dude. Same kind of outfit and everything. Backpack, green kind of thing. And another rifle. Nice to see a mustache, mustache kind of face like this. Flesh colored again. And um, sec uh, this is the last um, living thing besides the droid. <laughs> Sorry, R2. Just kidding. Uh, Chewbacca. Nothing new about him. Yeah. Next we have um, R2-D2. It's cool. He's got the Clone Wars head. New Clone Wars head. It's cool. And that's all the minifigures. Next we're going to review the speeder bikes. Same as the gunship. Nothing really that new. They're cool. They're fast. And they're ready to go. Not mu not much to do. They got this like little foot pedal kind of thing. Uh, a little bit of different in the front and back right here is just a bit different. But that's it for the new speeder bikes. Uh, next is the flyer. This thing has a brand new stand. Looks like this. It's brand new. It's clear. It holds up pretty darn good. And just get this flyer thing. And it moves back and forth so you can fly sort of thing 
And this is detachable, so you actually it'll make it fly. And then you can, uh, there's this little thing, lever right here that drops this thing. Does that. That's about it for that. Uh, next is the catapult. Amazing job on a great job, Lego, because they did such a great job on the catapult. I mean, it will fling at least 10 feet. Well, 5 feet. But it can go up to 10 feet. I mean, that, that just went three, 4 feet across the table. I'll show you where it went. It went all the way down there. All the way next to the ATTE over there. That's how far it went. Great job. Um, and you get four of these rocks and very detailed and you can also use this lever too you're supposed to supposed to like like that pretty easy simple and it does a good job that's the way I like it with Lego and next is um I think it's the ATRT something like that so yeah um, it's okay. There's a little con on it. The con is when it moves the feet, you just twist. It's got this mechanism right there that does it. When you move the feet, it does a pretty good job, but it looks sort of like it's running. And when it's on the ground, it doesn't do anything. You have to be up in the air, which sucks. Um, good missile firing turrets. Uh, flick fire missile. It's okay. Um, interior comes with a seat. Can't really see down there, but there's a seat in there. You can fit Chewbacca in. And yeah, that's about it for that. And lastly, it is the bunker itself. It's a little small. A little small, I would have to say. They could have done a little better job on the size of this thing. But yeah. Well, the main feature of this set is when you push these things down, the doors come out. And it works really good. So you just push those down. And then you just push these back in, and it reloads. I mean, pretty simple, pretty good. And then if we turn our attention to the back, you um, hold where the, um, this is right here, this little piece right here. that little piece because that's the hooking piece to it right there so yeah that's a little hooking piece and same for the other side so that's how you make it and then it has an automatic stop which is nice uh, you get a lot of keyboards right here very nice you get swiveling chairs here the door oops Oh, there we go. Yeah, the door is open. So, let's turn this around. Let's see. Yeah. Does a pretty good job on that. And over here, these are supposed to be sort of like the electronic part, the nuclear part of the base, how they blow it up in the movie of Episode 6 during the Battle of Endor. And very good framing, good engineering work, engineering slash Lego work on and designing on the interior. Looks great. Yeah, and you get these new computers that are on the side here, and they look sweet new computer dashboards and they're supposed to power like these nuclear things right here and then like I said you just pop it like that and that's about it um be careful not to get this off on the side that can sometimes not like an always break but it can sometimes come off uh, a little plant detail would be nice to put a little more plants in it um, nice to see this plant is my probably favorite plant, so it's nice to see this again. So you get two of those and then little plants on the back. And that's, I think, just about it. So we're going to end this review with the box. Glossy box. Nothing new, just showing the logo off. A little too big a box. See you guys. Lego boy.